Protesters gathered outside City Hall last night as the full council met to pass this year's budget. The protesters have been campaigning against cuts to youth services, play centres and library provision since the proposals were published in January. Some protesters had their own ideas about how the council should save money. They could use the money they're spending on a monorail completely unnecessarily, on a conference centre in the city, uh, and they could use that funding to plug the gap until they build a campaign using the people out here today uh, to put pressure on Westminster, to put pressure on the National Assembly uh, to give more funding, uh, as much funding as we need uh, as a city desperately. The council's approved £50 million of cuts. These include cutting £250,000 from youth services and £200,000 from play centres. The cost of Meals on Wheels will go up by 25% and grants to lunch services for elderly people will be lost. 600 council jobs have also been cut. The 4% rise in council tax means cuts to services will be lower than originally planned. But not all councillors agree this was the best decision. I wanted to see a 0% council tax increase. I've spoken to lots of members of my community and a lot of people, we don't have a lot of services um, provided by the council. We've got no community centres, a library which is closed one day a week and just schools. Uh, and obviously the basic um, services such as waste management, street lighting, people are very much self-sufficient and they just felt that they didn't want a council tax increase this year. But the rise in council tax does mean youth centres are protected for another year. Cate's youth centre would have faced closure under the original proposals. Now they'll only be closed for one day a week. We've got four sessions a week. Monday and Thursday are our mainstream youth club. Uh, Friday is our inclusive youth project, which is uh, working with uh, young people with disabilities. And Sunday is our music-based youth club. So uh, it's more than likely we'd lose one of the either Monday or Thursday. The council's under increasing pressure from the Welsh Government and Westminster to save money at a time of austerity. Looking ahead, the council's looking at alternative ways of running its services on a lower budget. Yasmin Morgan-Griffiths, CJS News.